So apparently there is even one more trophy mission animal from Hirschfelden that we haven't yet gotten, and it should actually be another potential diamond wild boar. So today we're going to be working on the missions to get to that and maybe even get to the actual boar itself. But this one out here is actually one that we want to get for the mission that we're on. We definitely got into the lungs there, which we actually need because the current mission is this one where we need a gold red deer, bison, wild boar, and fallow deer. But I realized we can actually do this other mission at the same time because there are four weapons that we have to use uh, to complete that one. So we took this wild boar with the 12 gauge. If he is a gold, that'll be both mission objectives done there. And I have the other three weapons with us. And as long as we use the right weapon for the right animal, we can actually get through this in just four shots instead of eight. So this guy actually is in fact a gold. Kind of lucky on a big level three, so that's good. And the rest of them should be easier. It's a little more obvious. Uh, what? Where did that go? I was going to say it's a little more obvious which, um, it, like for the other species when they're gold or not. Did that complete it? I mean, it's under the completed missions now. I just unlocked this last night and we didn't do any of the objectives until just there with that wild boar. I have no idea why that completed it, but at least we can go get the normal weapons for the rest of these. And it does say the wild boar objective got completed, so they're working. I have no idea why that completed, but I'm not going to complain. I think actually that guy could definitely be a gold because he's a high estimate level three. This one over here only goes to 152, whereas he goes up to 226. So I definitely think we'll get that. It would be nice to get the bison out of the way. <laughs> And he's going aggressive, so even if we didn't make a good shot, we'd have an easy chance to get him again. But he should go down, and the biggest thing is, like, the bison are done drinking any minute now. And fallow deer and red deer are still going to be active for a while, so they were the perfect ones to go to. That guy would be kind of a backup option if this one ends up being too small, which it actually is. So we'll maybe go and try to get him. I'm trying to keep track of him. He's just going nervous out there. I don't know if we can get a shot in through those trees. I think here. That should work. It's really hard to say if we got that into a lung or not, but I mean, they're bison. They have huge lungs, so hopefully. Should go down any second if we did. Oh, I guess we didn't because he's on his way over here aggressive, so we'll try to make a better shot this time. I was wondering where he got to. That definitely is going to be a little bit better, so hopefully he makes it then. I didn't realize they could be that much below gold with the high estimate, because I think they gotta be over 700 kg, and that last one was only 670 something. And yeah, that guy's pretty much the same. They gotta be a decent amount bigger, so I'd say unfortunately we're gonna have to find some other ones, because those are not gonna cut it. Okay, that one's perfect. That's gonna be a definite gold. We just have to make sure we don't end up having a bad shot. He is going aggressive, so we'll be good if it wasn't. But he's going down, so that's going to have that done. I think we really lucked out with the timing of everything, because I want to say he was over there, like, in a later drink zone. But the fours are guaranteed gold, so that's going to have him done. The fallow deer will still be feeding, and I think we'll actually go do red deer next, because during the stream yesterday, while we were working on other missions, there was actually a max weight red deer track somewhere, I think like heading towards the lake or the river, like in that area. So we'll maybe see if we can go find him. And even if it takes us a while, fallow deer drink right after this, so they're kind of one we can wait on. I'm not 100% sure that's the same one, but with a rack like that, I don't think there's any way he would end up being too small. So we'll just definitely get a lung shot in there, and that should get that part done. And I think the fallow deer should be probably the easiest of the four, so... Hopefully we can get through that, and I really have no idea if there's more missions after this that we have to do. Because it certainly looks like, since this is the last one, that we have to complete this one to unlock others. And I hope we don't have to do it through side missions, because then I have no idea. But yeah, that's our gold red deer out of the way. And I'm really glad that I got his track yesterday and just didn't follow it, because that could have definitely saved us a lot of time. A lot of the red deer I've seen on Hirschfeld lately have been, like, level 5s and 6s. But I think we'll head down to Rathenfelt somewhere and just kind of check the fields for a bit before Fallow started drinking. 
Man, I don't know if that's big enough. I'm really not sure where he came from, but it is a max weight level 3, and a lot of the max weight 3s do make it. But the thing is, for it to even still be a level 3, that means it's right on the edge, so we'll have to see. And hopefully he'll stop out here in the field and give us a quick shot, but there's definitely a chance with that one. Kind of lucky he decided to come back so quickly. But let's just drop him there, and hopefully that's it. Hopefully that's going to make gold, but I'm really not sure. Especially with the score estimates being weird, I don't think 139 is his actual score, so it's pretty much impossible to say where he's going to end up at, but I think he's got a decent chance. Especially being into that max weight estimate. And he does make it. He's 186 where 172 is gold, so... Honestly, almost 86 kilograms in level 3? I didn't really know that was possible, but... Great, that's all of them. I'll let Albertina know. You're a real pro at this. Thank you. Hopefully that's going to hey, unlock what we need. Event was a great success, and he was Maybe? Very grateful for your assistance. Yes. Unfortunately, the boar have been migrating back into the farmlands again, and Zomo is not too happy about that. There's one large boar in particular that's been troublesome for the farmers. Fesla calls it Vost, you know, sausage. Reports say it is quite aggressive and is even charged at some kids around Pittesheim. The farmers are getting very concerned. Can you track it and put it down? Now, what I've been told is that this should be a potential diamond wild boar. I'm guessing because they call it aggressive, it may actually be charging us, and they're actually not that easy to hit when they charge. I mean, like the bison that we shot at earlier, they sort of just run really slowly and give you a good chance at the vitals. The boars move a little more quickly, but I'm thinking that if it does charge us, what we can probably do is just kind of heal. Let me make sure I actually have med kits. Just kind of heal and let him flee, and then track him down and get him. But the other thing is, it's taken us to the same area as the first Diamond Wild Boar uh, from that mission. And that one just kind of stood there and didn't really move. So we'll have to see if maybe this guy does that. Okay, so yeah, he is actually level 5. And at least at range, he just kind of is standing there. I do actually want to go in and see, like, if he's going to do anything. Because it would be kind of lame to just smoke him at 300 meters, kind of knowing that he would be spawned there. But we'll get into, like, I don't know. 100, and if he doesn't charge, we'll probably just take him then. This is the area where Voss was last seen. See if you can pick up on any of his tracks. Well, I don't really need to do that when he's standing out in the open. But, I mean, yeah, I just want to get close to him, at least to know if he is, like, programmed to charge or whatever. Because I just think it would be lame to shoot him long range before we even know what he's supposed to do. But, maybe you actually have to alert him. I don't know, we might alert him trying to walk through all this. Yeah, I noticed. Alright, I mean, we're 87 meters away. I'm barely convinced he's not programmed to just charge when you get close, so I guess we'll take him. Definitely got him well. And, I mean, there's probably a chance he is too small. Uh, a lot of people said the other board that we shot made gold for them instead of making diamonds, so that could be it. But hopefully he makes it, because again, even if they are mission animals, it's good to get different things on those small plaques in the trophy lodge because we have so many ducks now that I definitely want to have as many like boar and warthog and like spring buck stuff like that as we can. So like I said, I hope he makes it and I think he might actually be the darker fur so he'd be different than the first mission one. He definitely is that. That's actually kind of cool like a good look at the entry wound but he is a diamond can make some fresh sausages now. And Zoma will be pleased his farmers can work without fear again. And I would say he's a guaranteed okay, diamond so at that weight. sound a bit crazy, but I'm going to need your help downing some radioactive wild boar. Hmm. No, I'm serious. Not many know it, but there are still some cesium contaminated mushrooms and plants in the reserve due to the Chernobyl disaster fallout. Well, some hungry boar have been ingesting these. It's not like they glow in the dark or anything, but the meat is considered questionable at best and is bad for Tesla's business. Tesla has isolated the herd that showed signs of contamination. 
and ask for some help in hunting them. So, we gotta get five of them. I don't know if it's like an entire herd. I'll probably show on the map like where they are. We might just do these and see like what they get us. Because I don't know that there's any other like mission animals on Hirschfeld, and I think everything else is kind of just objectives for the normal spawns. So we'll probably just stick to this, and I don't know, maybe we can trip over another diamond wild boar. Every other time we've done Hirschfeld missions, we've actually managed to get a diamond or yeah, I think always a diamond. I don't think we got any rares, but always some kind of trophy that wasn't the mission animal. So we'll do this one at least and kind of see where it gets us. There they are, the radioactive boar. I told you they wouldn't glow. So, the interesting thing about this is, the M1 didn't exist when this mission was made. So, in theory, we can actually get all five. We have five rounds in the M1, and Wild Boar do run incredibly slowly. So, we'll kind of just see if we can get them all. I mean, none are big. That's probably by design. I don't know if they're random spawns or, like, specific sizes. I was kind of just hoping we may actually struggle to find them and see some other stuff first. But yeah, we'll get in good and close. We'll at least get to where that hill is going to impact us maybe a little less if we go down around this side. And hopefully we can do this in like just a couple of minutes even if we have to track a couple of them. Honestly, just the way these hills are, I don't think we can really get the ideal situation. So we'll probably just try to get them as they're fleeing here. Definitely got the two. And then maybe we can get one more if we can get to the top of this hill and then we'll have to do a little bit of tracking because we do need all five. But the hunting pressure looked like we did get two as I thought. I'm pretty sure that uh, second shot was good. And can we see any of them? Yeah, we can at least get that one. We'll put two shots in her to get it down quickly. And I guess if we can get a third hit, that's good, because we know from doing the other boar missions, actually, that a flesh hit from the M1 actually does bring these guys down eventually. So that'll get her. We'll have to go and track down that last one. But as I said, I don't really know that there's anything else interesting from the Hirschfeld missions as far as, like, mission-specific animals. I'm pretty sure, like, the albino fallow, the two diamond boar, and was there maybe one other one? I think that might have been it. I'm pretty sure those are all the actual, like, mission trophy animals, so I kind of want to just do this mission and maybe one more and see if it ends up leading us to anything cool. And then we'll probably be wrapping this video up, but I'm just glad that one was a diamond. And if you guys want to do that mission, like I kind of said there, it's in the story missions and based on the weight, I think that one's a guaranteed diamond. So if you do it, you should have a free diamond wild boar, not like the other one where it's like just a good chance at one. But our fourth pig's down right there and actually Hitting the pelvis there definitely sped that up a little bit. And this guy, since they run so slow, he's gotta be right out here ahead of us somewhere. Depending on just the terrain, we can definitely get a shot in there. If you would decide on a direction, that would be cool. That'll work. So I actually think this is the last of the uh, Tressler missions. Because we actually did the side missions first, which I think if you were to do the missions as they were intended, we probably did them in the like wrong order. But I'm pretty sure we're done That's with his missions. So yeah, that's not unlocking anything else. So I think that's the last of his missions. And I'm not aware of like any kind of unique red deer or bison between these two. So yeah, maybe we'll just go do this red deer mission and call it good. Because we need another gold red deer uh, with a 270 heart shot. So that'll be interesting anyway. So that guy's definitely big enough. And they kind of spooked and ended up drinking nervous out in this area. And I'm not sure that I really want to take like a broadside shot. Maybe if he goes a little more front on. I don't think he's going to stay though. Yeah, okay. Maybe we can actually get that. Because it's good and close. And I mean, there's a bit of an angle, but not much. We should be able to kind of just center it in the chest. And I'm pretty sure that has to be a hard shot. So 
this is actually an area that I've never hunted red deer in. It's all the way up here, kind of by the coast. And I had a couple of different red deer zones like coming down here. And it's really easy, you just come down from this outpost. So I may try the spot out in multiplayer just to kind of see what's going on up here. Amazing shots, straight in the heart. And that caliber will leave the smallest possible entry wound. That reward is much deserved. We barely got that. So I figured we better just come back to the Trophy Lodge because we started getting info on another mission and that is going to have to be for another day, but the only reason I was even up there for Red Deer is because when we went to go get this wild boar, there were Red Deer tracks like on the way there and I kind of wanted to see if any Red Deer drank in that area. And they definitely do and that's a spot I want to go back to for sure, but I think I liked just that pose. And I'm pretty sure that's all the wall plaques now in this room. There's still, I think, maybe just two? of these little platforms, but this room's actually getting pretty well filled and like I said, it is a mission animal, but it's nice to get like a free diamond wild boar, especially like any of those animals for the small plaques. I'm really trying to fill those right now, so it's good that we're getting ones that basically aren't ducks, but anyway, yeah, um, I think that's going to be the last of the Hirschfeld missions that we do. As I said, I don't think there are any more like trophy animals from the missions, so as far as I know, that's kind of all the maps caught up. As far as mission animals, we did all late and a long time ago, and I mean, as for Hirschfeld, I think that's it. So, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.